We're going to be making a coil pot today, aren't we? Yes. Yes. I... So to make a coil pot, we need some tools. Yes, we need these tools, this tool, this tool, this tool, this tool, that, that. Lots of tools. And more importantly, or as important, we need a ball of clay. Yeah, and I have the biggest. So at the moment, this ball of clay needs rounding off into a circle. Let's do that. Two hands together. And let's roll like this, our hands in opposite directions. Or you can do it like this. Yeah, let's try that. Let's get our ball. I've it before. I've got a great ball. Look how round mine is. You want to switch? Okay, we can switch. Mm -hmm. Can we give them back? We'll give them back. Okay. Yeah, Come on we'll then. Give them back. Mine's ready. Yeah, mine We're done. Yeah. I'll pop it on the table. And then roll it. And if they've cracked the shoes, move it. All right, roll. You've got your hands up. And then what do we do? How to make flatten this out triangle. to make the base? Mine's like a triangle. It is. We have to flatten these out, don't we, to make our base, remember? How are we going to do that? We get our palm with our hand. Yeah. And we squish. Squish, squish, squish. But what are we trying to make the shape of? A burger. A burger. And then, oh, we don't want it too thin. So burgers, we don't want too thin burgers. Then we flip it over again. Flip it over. Ooh, like we're cooking it. And now let's flatten it again. We don't want it too thin because burgers aren't tiny and thin, are they? We want it a little bit chunky, but not too fat. Not too thick it's either. Mine too thick. That's just right. So, next, what's next? Do you know what's next? Roll the clay thing. We have to make walls for our pinch, for our coil oh, pot, don't we? Or we they? could straighten the sides like this. Yeah, okay, let's try that then. Well, my car. Like a wheel of a car. So now we're ready to put our coils on. So what's a coil? A coil is... What is a coil? A coil is where you put walls up like you make sausages and then you go We make ooh, sausages ooh, of clay, ooh, that's right. Ooh, 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 ooh. We make sausages of clay, don't mm -hmm. we? And put them on top of one another. Then we can build up the walls to make our coil pot. And what are we gonna do with our coil pots, I wonder, hey? When we make them. Can um make... we can straighten them out I... with with one of yeah. these. Yeah. Or we could use a sponge one, but we don't have it out yet. Let's get started, shall we? So we're going to make some coils now. We'll show you how to make them, or clay sausages. This is my amazing sausage. I already <laughs> made it. So yeah. We've now... already made some sausages to get ready, but let's show yeah. everybody how to make a coil sausage, shall we? I don't have any clay, but... Ta-da! That's yours. You can have that to make a coil with. No, it's yours. Oh. Shall I show you then? Here we go. Because I already made mine out of clay, so I don't want too much. So how are we going to do that? How do we make this into one of these? Well, it kind of, when I squeeze it, it might look like a dog doodle. Okay. <laughs> and do you want to make the shape or shall I? I'll make it. Go on then. What shape do we need to start off with? A dog doodle. All right. It also looks just, you could call it just a long lumpy shape. Let's have a look. How's it getting on? Let's have a look. How's it getting on? Oh, yeah. That's a good start. Make it, you know, put it in two hands and squeeze it so we get a lovely long shape like this. Put it on the table. And um, I'm going to sit down and do this, but it's also quite easy and feels good to stand up and roll the clay sausage. What would you do? Would you stand up and roll it or would you sit down? I would stand. Would you stand? This is how I would stand up. Would you like to turn? Would you like to turn this shape into a coil? Yeah. No, Let's, you can. Oh me. Okay then. Let's go then. Um, so I'm going to stand up. Put my hands together. Put my hands together. Put my hands together. And roll forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards. I'm moving my hand from the middle to the sides. There we go. There's my clay sausage or coil. Okay, so now we're going to put our coil onto this our base. This is my cross hatching tool. There's cross hatching toys, tools, or let me get this. There's a pin. Yeah. Pins are very dangerous. We would normally use cross hatching tools. Um, because that's an easy way to make cross yeah. hatches, isn't it? So what is a cross hatch? A cross hatch. It's like an X. 
lots of X's together like that, yeah? Should we show how we do that then? Yeah. Come on then, let's go. Lots of crosses together like that. Okay, all the way, all the way around the edge. And now we need to make it nice and wet and soggy. So we can either use liquid clay, which is called slip, but we like to use water because water works really well too. So let's get some water and a paintbrush. Here's my water. Oh, you want to do it first? That's my finish one. That's okay. Can we share? When can I go get you one? Okay, thanks. Just use your brush. I saw that with my paper. I'm watching you. Mm. Cut a little bit too much so it sticks wet. Yeah. There we go. I'm going to plop some water all around the edge of mine too. There we go. So it's nice and wet. We don't need the water anymore. What's next? Uh, uh, um, coil. Get a coil. Get I'm going to use. Which one are you going to use? One. I'm going to use. Mine's this stuck one. together. <laughs> Can you prise it apart? And when you've got your I'm coil, we're going to place the coil around the edge of the base. There we go. Line it up around the edge of the base. And sometimes you find that the coil overlaps the other side of the coil like this okay if that happens all we do is cross them over tear the bit we don't need off so they butt up against each other and then using your finger just make it nice smooth so they look like it's one coil it just looks like it's one coil there we go Brilliant. Now that's the first coil onto our base. I've got to smooth it out this bit. And guess what we do after this? We tap it down a little bit. Just gently, just gently. <laughs> now let's go with the next coils and keep building it up. fingers yeah or you could use your thumbs yeah that's right so we've put all the coils onto our pots and we've made them the height that we want to make them and now we are going to smooth the insides and we're going to squash one pit coil onto the next onto the next so that we bind them all together to make a lovely smooth inside but we want to keep the outside we want to keep the outside as it is don't we because we like the way it looks and to me I think these look like lots of hula hoops stacked up. It looks like a swimming pool. A swimming pool. <laughs> if we made it. Or lots of bangles, one on top of each other. Bangle, 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 bangles. Or, or necklaces. All stacked up. What about a hat? <laughs> yeah, I thought of that. Huh? You did. I know. Sorry about that. So let's smooth the insides with our thumbs. Come on then. Should we do that? Yes. Let's go.
you've done such a great job of your pot. I'm, I'm so proud of you. That looks fantastic. Do you like mine? Ooh, yes. you like mine? I like that line. Do you? I like yours. Yours is a great shape. Oh, these are going to look brilliant. I might use mine for brushes too. I'm using mine for pencils. Excellent. So now we've got our pots and they've, made, they've been made so well. I'm really proud of mine. I'm using this paintbrush. So we've decided to paint our pots. And what we're using is not paint, it's actually glaze, liquid glaze, which means that it will go in the kiln after we've coloured it and it will come out really bright and shiny. Oh, like my hair. But this glaze we can put on when the clay is still quite wet, can't we? And then we can let it dry slowly and put it in a kiln. And a kiln is, a, is where you put clay to fire up very, oh, very high temperature. Oven. A very, very hot oven. Okay. But we don't put food in a, in a kiln, just clay. So we've got, we've chosen some colours here, haven't we? And also, if you don't know what clay is, clay comes from a factory shop where it comes from like material shops and stuff like that. And also, We do get it from a clay shop, yes. Yeah. But where do they get it from? Hmm. Where does it come from? It's dug from the ground. It comes from the ground. You can oh. find clay in the ground. That's where it comes from. And I'll tell you something special. What? It's millions of years old. Millions of years old. Ooh, oh, yeah. Right. Ruben. Shall we get ready to paint our pots now? Yeah. I'm going to do mine. Um, rainbow. I'm doing my rainbow. I think I might do a rainbow too. You, what if you do like stripes like down there? Yeah. And I do a stripes. Or, great idea. So they're not the same. Okay. Same, same, but different. So we'll know. So we'll know who's is who. Yeah. Who's is who's. Let's go. Who's is who's. I'm using red. Pots, you've coloured yours wonderfully. I think that's fantastic. Are you happy with it? Yes. Me too. I'm really happy with it. Well done. We done brilliantly. <laughs> that really hurt. Yeah. Hi. Did you see the secret monkey hiding in the video? Did you see it? We run the video and see if you find it.